How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and I'm back today with another episode of Stronghold HD. We're playing the economic campaign this time and we're on chapter number two, The Long Valley. The king's armory is depleted. Go to the valley to the east of the castle and begin weapons production. The fertile valley floor is ideal for apple growing, which you can use to feed your people. A local trader here trades in iron, which you can buy to produce some of the weapons needed. So to win this mission, we're going to need to build 24 bows, 16 swords, and complete that within the time period defined right here. So let's get started, playing it on very hard as per usual. Place a keep to sight your castle, my liege. So without any further ado, we need to place our keep down. As you can see, we have a fair bit of low land here, but I'm going to place it at the far end of this map. Right about like that. Put a granary right over here. And first off, we need to put up some wood walls to prevent the wolves from harassing my economy. It's my number one priority. There's some wolves on that cliff right over there on the other side of the river. So now let's begin wood production. I'm going to need three. I'm going to start with three woodcutters huts right there next to those nearby trees. Then we can do a couple of apple farms here, I think. Let's hear that one might have been a little bit too close, no? Okay, that's looks, that looks pretty good. So, total of four. We're going to be able to put at least five here. Yeah, okay, five there. That'll be fine because I want to put a gatehouse there as well, so the extra space is not... I'm not missing out on anything, really. So we have 11 left. I'm going to do one more farm. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buildings. And we have ten peasants. So I guess the last one is going to actually be a woodcutter. Placed up there on the uh, very hilly, piney hill. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and get the economy up and going. I'm not going to be able, as the mission said, to produce iron. So I'm going to have to rely on the revenue I generate off of selling apples to bankroll my iron supplies. As you can see, there are four signposts right here. And we, we have a couple of bears roaming around this area. So far, they have not bothered my peasants at all. Uh, the first wood is coming in, and we have some outlaws coming in. So they should come through right there. They are, as a matter of fact. You guys should actually be shooting at that bear. Godspeed. No. We await orders. Can they actually target? Yeah, okay, they got that bear. Get that bear. So there are a couple more bears roaming around up here. They're reproducing quite rapidly at the moment. And then after we've taken care of the bears, we're going to move them up here to take care of the wolves, and then we can unblock that area. So it'll work out quite nicely. Okay. Yes. Wolves are on the prowl. I just want to get within range of those bears there. My popularity is falling because we have a wolf attack. But now that we have more wood, I'm going to build more apple orchards here. So one, two, three thieves. That is not good, but I think we have enough food to compensate for it. Hmm. Can't seem to really fit more farms in here. Probably could have planned this out a bit better. Okay. I don't have enough. That's a shame. I don't actually have enough peasants to man or to... I don't have enough wood to build another hovel. But by the time I finished saying that, I had enough wood. So. Those other bears are out of range of my archers. So instead, what I'm going to do first is take care of these additional wolves. So that way I can open up this area over here to my peasants. That might not necessarily... Well, yeah, I think I do want to do that because there is some good wood over there and it had, it's in close proximity to my stock, my keep in the stockpile and everything. So it reduces the overall travel times uh, for my woodcutters. So it's, that's a good thing and I think it would be worth uh, clearing out those wolves up there. Target them. Okay. So we have enough to build a market. I'm going to stick the market where? Here we go. That's a decent enough place. 
And we don't have enough to buy any. So I'm going to turn up taxes to double rations. And then we're going to start taxes. Remember, taxing is more efficient than selling. So if you're generating revenue through taxes, that's always going to be ultimately slightly more productive in terms of the gold that you generate from it. And that's why we do that. Now, there are going to be bandits attacking, which makes me want to put up a gatehouse over there. Okay, are all the wolves gone? Yes, they are. So now we're going to move. I see the bears prowling right over here, so I'm going to send the archers over there to deal with that. And now we have the market, of course. I'm going to sell a few of these apples and bring it down to 20. Still not enough to actually buy any iron, though. So instead, we're going to begin producing more wood. So I'm going to remove this wall here. We're going to set up more woodcutters right across the river. Three, four. Four should be enough. So the bears are causing trouble in my economy now. Uh, let's get rid of them if we can. Okay, that bear is down. The bears will naturally reproduce over time. They just multiply on the ground. But I think that got rid of all of them. Yeah. So now I'm just going to position these units next to the granary. I suppose if there are more wolves that attack, that would probably mean I should put them in the keep. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. So... We have a couple of woodcutters there. They're absolutely done producing wood. So I'm going to move their woodcutters up the huts themselves up here. That's nonsense. Is it? Maybe we are out of population again. Okay. Another hovel. So the they were finished producing. Not producing. They were finished chopping those trees. Right, that I initially... Okay, third one's done chopping the trees as well. Get rid of that, and that clears up some space here. And we might be able to build another apple farm there now. Hmm, it looks like we can. There we go. Another apple farm. And now I really want to start producing weapons. So, see if we can buy iron. Yes, we have enough to buy iron. But we don't have enough to actually build blacksmiths. Just barely. Okay, we're selling a little bit more... We're going to get our first blacksmith up and going. Like that. And we're also going to need an armory. For him to deposit. That's Oh, I can't undo that. Why can't I undo that? Oh, because there are bows in it. I kind of wanted to build it right next to the stockpile instead of wasting a space there. But that would be fine. So we have enough iron. We have got five iron to get started with here. Plenty of food coming in. And we're finally starting that weapon production. Like I said, I'm going to speed this up to 90. Hopefully I'll be able to handle it on that speed. I do want to build a gatehouse over here. There we go. And then we can start blocking that off. So that way, when the bandits come, they won't be able to just run over my entire economy. And we also, of course, want to begin bow production as well. I think we have enough gold to do that. As a matter of fact, yeah, we do. Let's sell some more food. We have plenty of apples. We want to get this done as quickly as possible. We have so two more. We have a total of three Fletcher's workshops now. It's a good start. We have enough wood to build a little tower over here. See, there's a rather dis uh, misleading. Oh, you have a bandits. Okay. Let's get them up on those gates. Uh, normally, when the bandits attack, their primary objective is to destroy things, not to kill units. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, right now, they're destroying my farms. So they're not going to go for my keep, in other words. I'm just going to get my archers up here. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah. You can shoot them? Good. Start shooting at them. The farm is relatively cheap to replace. They're only like five gold a piece, so it's not a big deal. Uh, especially if they're, you know, terrorizing my actual economy instead, that would be a much bigger issue. And now they've run away, so let's begin 
rebuilding what they destroyed. I'm gonna slow it. I'm gonna slow the game down just a little bit. Ooh, rich witchcraft. Okay. I'm gonna rebuild these apple farms there. Like that. There we go. That looks good. Are the gates open? Yes, they are. The next event might actually be the wolves. I'm gonna move my archers back across. And we have quite a bit of wood. So sell more. Well, we're down to 50 popularity. So I'm gonna turn down my taxes a little bit for a minute. Because when we drop below 50, they'll actually stop. Uh, they're all, the peasants will start leaving the castle, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So it's a good thing I caught it. Well, I still had opportunity to correct it. And 492, we have a lot of gold. So I'm going to buy five more iron, and we can afford another blacksmith like that. So that's almost out of food, really. Yes, we, uh, we are actually almost out of food. Okay, I'm turning rations to normal, and I'm turning my taxes off entirely. We were hit pretty hard by the apple blight, and that resulted in me uh, running out of food, essentially, because I sold a whole bunch off at the same time. But there, the stocks are definitely climbing, so I'm going to double rations. I'm going to increase the taxes up to high again, minus six, you know, negative popularity. In terms of swords... We have completed four of them and seven of our bows. So I'm not going to build any more blacksmiths, but I would like to build another Fletcher's or two. But I don't have enough workers, so instead I'm going to delete one of these woodcutters. There we go. I don't see we have the ability to build hops farms and brew and make ale and stuff, but I really don't think we have enough time to do that. This is speed us up here a little bit. I could easily just fence this area off and remove the wolf threat entirely. I think we might actually have enough uh, wood to do that, so I'm going to delete those woodcutters huts. I'm going to fence this area off once again. That way I don't have to bother running my archers back and forth all the time. And then we're going to bring the archers over here to the gate to deal with any additional bandits that come our way. So, we might actually be in need of iron pretty soon, so I'm gonna buy... Whoa, I don't have enough build to buy iron. Iron, or iron, or iron! I can't speak. Iron. There we go. Now we won't be running out of iron anytime soon. Granary stocks are low again. But that isn't a problem, actually, this time, because we have plenty of apples coming in. I'm gonna build another Fletcher's... Over here... No, wait. I think I'll build on top of this little bluff like that. In the past, I've completed this mission on very hard, and two blacksmiths was more than enough. I didn't have to build more than that. So that's what I'm going again, with again this time. Do we have three... Okay, we have three archers here. One of them was actually on the ground, though, and that's never beneficial. So, rectified that. Yes, indeed, we are up to 79 popularity at the moment, which is pretty decent. I actually might want to increase taxes again, a little bit more gold. How are we looking in terms of iron? We have three left, and we are at 10 swords, so like 15, we'd we probably need to buy iron one more time, just to make sure that we have enough. Plenty of bows, plenty of wood. Overall, things are moving along quite nicely. We have bandits, once again. And they are going to destroy some of our farms. Like, obviously, if I built my keep down here with all the buildings and whatnot, uh, they, they'd run all over my keep, destroy weapons, buildings, and whatnot. So that's why it's advantageous to build all the way on the left side of the map. So popularity is falling. I'm going to turn the taxes down a little bit to compensate. And, as you can see, my archers have not been able to deal much damage on them yet. Like, they're moving around too fast and whatnot. There are only three of them. Now they're going to actually go after the gatehouse, but apparently I did enough damage to them at last. And they finally decided to run for it. Now, I'm not sure I actually need to rebuild my apple farms again. 
I mean, I have plenty of wood to do so. So I guess why not, right? Your popularity is rising. Can't place that there, my lord. So. Oh, we got the wolves again, huh? That's cool. Are they up there? Yeah, yes, they are. But they're not going to be bothering any of my peasants because I walled it off. We have enough bows. We need one more sword. We have half the time down. We're very close to victory right here. The very next blacksmith that comes out of his weapons workshop, right there he is. That will mean victory. Look at that, right there. So, playing level 15,000. I actually did a little bit better than the previous time I played through it, likely because of the extra bows. So, 52 months early, plus playing level, plus extra bows. I didn't have any extra swords, as you know. It resulted in 20,000, um, 20, score. So... That pretty much concludes this mission. Uh, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.